Every Tuesday, it's time for our Eye on Money series, taking a look at financial issues affecting Americans. So this morning, how overspending on credit cards can affect your finances for years. It's happened to a lot of us, a very big club out there. The average U.S. household has a credit card debt of about $5,700. That's according to an analysis of Census and Federal Reserve data. Overall, consuming debt Consumer debt, rather, has been rising significantly since the recession more than 10 years ago. It exceeded $4 trillion in June. Joining us to help sort it all out is Ted Rossman. He's an industry and analyst at bankrate.com and joins us at the table. Hey, Ted. Good morning. I got into trouble in college. I had a, de a credit card bills of $1,500 because they just pass them out to you in college. Yeah. You think, well, I need to get two or three of those. <laughs> and before that, you're overwhelmed with $1,500 in debt. I thought, I'll never get out of this. So I took a consolidation loan. Have you heard of those? Consolidation <laughs> loans are great. You want to make sure, though. You recommend? I do. Look for nonprofits, though. Look for somebody accredited by the NFCC, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling. NFCC.org is a great resource. If it's a nonprofit like Money Management International, there's low fees, there's a lot of benefits. The for profit ones, though, the debt settlement companies, that can destroy your credit. But this is the thing we keep hearing the economy is doing so well. So, why is your credit card debt? So high. Credit card debt is easy to get into and hard to get out of. Yes, it is. So what's happening for a lot of people is an emergency strikes, something with their health, their car, yeah. their home. 30 million Americans don't have health insurance. 40% don't even have $400 saved up. Mm -hmm. So when something hits, like the transmission breaks, you got to get to work, it goes on a credit card. Yeah. And the double whammy is that the average interest rate is 18%. So it's easy to get in and hard to get so out. So what, what is the best way to approach paying off a significant credit card debt? I love balance transfer cards. You can get these for as long as 21 months with no interest. Now, be careful of transfer fees. Most of these will charge you 3 to 5% up front. Right. You're basically, by the way, you're basically transferring your debt from one card to another with a lower interest rate? Exactly. 0%. The ones I like are 15 months, and they don't charge the transfer fee. That's why I like those. Is that gaming the system? You, you rack How many up times can card? you move it around? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't want to make a habit out of it. You don't want to keep kicking the can down the road. Yeah. But I recommend the Chase Slate, the Amex Everyday, and the Bank America card. Do this. Be disciplined about it. Don't put new money on the card. Try to figure out exactly how much you need to pay and knock it out in those 15 months. If you've made good headway and you need to do one more of these, I think that would be okay. Don't make it a habit, though. There's a lifestyle component to this, too. Yeah. yeah. It's behavioral. Quickly, Ted, these, these debt-free commercials, these, these companies that promise to get you debt-free in 12 or 24 months, do you trust them? I don't like the debt settlement companies because that destroys your credit. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to tell you to stop paying for about six months, mm -hmm. and they're going to use that as leverage to try to negotiate a lower bill. It destroys your credit. Don't do debt settlement. Debt consolidation, nonprofit credit counseling, Personal loans, balance transfers, those are good. Don't do the debt settlement. But if you now. do the debt settlement, the credit card company's not getting as much money oh. either. I can imagine if you got into credit card trouble because yeah. of an emergency, and then you're getting hit with fees, and then you're getting hit with more interest, yeah. and up and up and up, it would feel pretty good to say screw would. you to the companies. I'm going to say second to last resort, though. Bankruptcy is yeah. the last resort. Debt settlement's the second to last. It's going to hurt your credit for seven to ten years. Well, oh, that's could, a long time. It's a long time, but you could savor it. Ted, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> What's right, going on at your it? house, Tony? Oh, yeah, right. Look, <laughs> if you've got credit card debt, you've been in credit card debt. Yeah, it, it, I have. It, 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 I have. People know what I'm talking about.